We're trying to get to as many people and get reaction this afternoon to the ruling this morning, which I think was a, a surprise to many people. Let me ask Missouri Senator Roy Blunt. Shocked by the ruling today, Senator? Oh, not really, Mark. I mean, on Monday when you and I talked about this, I told you that I had no idea what they were going to do, and I'd always thought there were three questions here that needed to be answered, and if the answer to any of them was no, we shouldn't do it. And one was, is it constitutional? Uh, Two was, is it a good idea? And three is, can we afford it? Uh, The court while they narrowly decided they answered the one they can answer, now the American people get to answer uh, the other two. Is it a good idea? I don't think so, and I don't think Missourians do either, and I've been pretty clear on that. And can we afford it? I think we absolutely can't afford it. And this tax that the court hung their hat on uh, will be paid, frankly, by the people that can least afford uh, to pay it, the people that don't have insurance. What did you think about Justice Roberts? So he's getting ripped by a lot of conservatives there. Are you disappointed in him in the way that he decided this case? Uh, you know, it, it, uh, it disappointed to, to the extent that uh, we had four judges who were willing to, to take the whole law off the books, and that would have been the better thing for the country. So uh, one vote short of just taking the whole law off the books, which I still think needs to be done, but there's another way to do that, and that's for the House and Senate uh, to vote to do it and for the president to agree, and then we, we start over again and do the handful of things not the 2,600 pages of things, but the handful of things that really give people more choices in health care, more access to insurance, and a system where they and their doctors make the decision instead of some federal bureaucrat making the decision about their health care. You don't realistically think that any votes will take place on this this year, do you? I think the House will vote to repeal it. Well, yeah, Uh, you guys might vote even next week, right? The House, I think, not the Senate, but the right. House, I think, is going to Oh, I'm vote, sorry. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm getting confused. I'm, I'm hearkening back to your House days <laughs> like because it's been a busy day. I'm sorry about that. But I think the House may vote the week of July, the not next week, but the week of July the 9th. Uh, and that's uh, that let the American people know where that issue is. And I'll be looking for ways to be part of uh, forcing that same vote in the Senate. I think people running for the House, the Senate, or the White House should make their position clear on this. Do you think this is a good idea? Do you think the country can afford it? Do you think a government takeover of health care is what you want to see happen? Or do you want to see it repealed and replaced with things that make uh, this current system work better instead of uh, – a system that uh, we clearly shouldn't go in that direction. Senator, the the court ruled on the constitutionality of the, um, you know, of this under the Commerce Clause and made it very clear. But the way that Justice Roberts got around it is he said this is a tax. This is a tax, even though the Obama administration didn't admit that during the, in fact, they denied it during the debate on this and the run up on that. Doesn't that open the door perhaps to a lot of other taxes in the name of doing things for the American people in the future? It probably does. Now, the good thing here is that the court, for the third time in 100 years, said that there's some limit to the Commerce Clause, and that's a good thing, that you can't just do anything you want to under the Commerce Clause. Uh, But, you know, the the administration said this is a tax. Now, you're exactly right. They said repeatedly during the – until the bill was passed and signed into law, it's not a tax, it's not a tax, it's not a tax. The minute they got to court, they said it's a tax, and we have the right to do – the federal government can do this because it can levy taxes. And so now the IRS is the enforcement agent uh, for whether you've complied with the federal health care law or not. If that doesn't scare people who are listening to your program, I don't have anything a whole lot scarier than that to say. Uh, I think this is a bad plan that we can't afford, uh, and voters get to answer those two questions now just a, a few weeks from now in November. Senator Blunt, thanks for coming back on this afternoon. I appreciate hey, great it. to talk to you.